Oh my god, that thing just came off. That's a problem. That CV axle popped out that intermediate shaft. back to another episode of this Dodge Ram back in the garage again so a couple days ago I did the CV axle on both sides and um, after driving it I heard some clunking and we're gonna go take a look uh, we're gonna jack it up a little bit here we'll go underneath and we'll take a look so let's see what's the problem all right well right there that's a problem that cv axle popped out of this that intermediate shaft the shaft that comes out of the front diff look at this you just lose it's just hanging here and just look at it. all the tire is all intact no, nothing that loose on the tire side calipers hub everything's all intact this thing just came loose and uh, you can tell that intermediate shaft is sh shredded the the tip of that shaft and probably inside of that CV axle is shredded probably too looks like it's a little bit of a there's still more teeth on them but I'm gonna have to get another one. I, d I don't want to use that CV axle anymore. It might shred it again. So we're gonna need the brand new CV axle and that intermediate shaft right there. All right, let's take this thing apart again. All right, guys. So here's another axle. Pick up like a couple hours ago. That. One is still in there. I'm gonna take those off. It's another one. This is better. The spline right here is not shredded or anything. Okay, same part number. Same part number. It's all the same. And then, this is the part that I'm gonna replace. This is the intermediate shaft snap rings two of them and there's a big o-ring and that's the part right there that's the part that i'm gonna replace this is the new replacement aftermarket one i don't know if you care about the part number um it's right there so this goes into the 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 long shaft spline goes into the diff side and this is on the axle side we're gonna put two snap rings on one of each side and then the o-ring goes in here and then the cv axle goes in okay we're gonna have to clean all this this is where the the axle uh, seal will rub into while this thing is spinning so this thing has to be clean all right so this is all the parts you're gonna need we're gonna Install this in first and then the CV axle after. So let's get to it. Alright, so first, taking this apart. You probably watched this on my previous video. I think a um, couple videos before this one, I did this part already. You can just watch on that episode, see how to take out the culpers. Take out the outer outer rod, the upper bolt joint off, the knuckle. Take those off, and the axle nut. Take those off, and then we're gonna have to swing this thing over 
from the top, swing it out, and then we'll pop that CV axle out. And uh, that's the halfway point, and then after that, we'll put the new one in. So if you're new to this channel, uh, like I always say, click in to the subscribe, and then like the video if this is helpful to you. And uh, make sure to uh, turn on that bell notification on. You get instant video every time I upload videos every second day. So uh, here we go. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So uh, everything is loose on this uh, knuckle. You can tell our tyros is off. Upper control arm bush um, bolt joint is off. Um, of course, caliper and the hub is off. The axle knife is off, so I just need to pop this uh, CV axle out, give it a little tap, and then slide it all out, just like that. Okay. So now, we're going to have to take out that stub shaft that stick out on that diff, and uh, show you how to do that. Some said you need a special tools. All you need is this... Uh, flat pry bar and a sledgehammer just gonna have to tap it in from the inside out I'll show you put the pry bar pick up that retainer clip first you don't want to use this anymore garbage now what you do is uh, you're gonna have to uh, jam it right here on where the retainer goes in and then you hit it with the hammer just hit, hit it as hard as you can There you go. What holds this in place is uh, this uh, retainer inside here. That's what holds inside. You just need to pop that retainer off and this whole thing will slide off. Look at that. This is just shredded. All right, let's put the new one in. All right, so before we put this new one in, we're gonna have to prep this. We're gonna have to prep it and make it put the retainers in here and then the o-ring so it comes with a kit two retainers one o-ring uh, o-ring will be on the small side of the shaft spline where the um, CV axle goes in just like that and then, all right, we're gonna put a piece of wood, put the pin in. Gonna quickly use a soft mallet. Just like that. And pushing it in. Make sure you use the rubber mallet. You wanna buggered up this uh, retainer or the treads so if one side is done let's do the other side put it there straight hit it with the hammer just like that there you go Make sure it's nice and clean, no dirt or no rocks, twigs on there. So this is ready to go. We'll slide it in. Alright? Alright guys, so while we're here, let's just uh, change this axle seal off. Because uh, it looks like it's sh shitty. So we're just going to have to pop this thing off. It's going to be tough. So we're going to have to pry it out from this side here. 
I'm gonna have to pry it off. I'm gonna clean around it and put a new one in. So just clean, clean around the lip of this uh, edge of the diff. Just clean it off. Make sure that it's uh, no dirt, mud, debris, rocks inside of this thing all right so here's a new one there's only one way we'll go in that will be the right way it goes like that goes in straight just use a little soft mallet Top around the lip of the seal. There you go. Anti seize right here. Putting this anti seize because there's so that there's no water going in again. Keep the, the hub. Keep keep the water away. Right, guys everything is done yeah new CV axle side intermediate shaft and the axle seal is brand new got all the bolts and nuts torqued down so everything is good all right guys we're out for the drive drive at night see how this uh, axle feel like That's my seat belt beeping, so uh, I don't know. So that knuckle that I cracked, I kept that old one still in there. We're gonna have to change that next time here. Uh, that's supposed to be 75 foot pounds, and somehow I kind of just did a couple. You know snug on my pry bar and then just freaking broke <laughs> it just cracked that knuckle it was aluminum knuckle so it looks like it's a fix no clunking noise that's it guys so again if you're new to the channel make sure make sure to subscribe click on that uh, bell button turn on the no notification you get brand new video coming up every time when I upload Alright guys, so here's the truck, about a day and a half 
later after driving let's take a look what's the result this is the one that I changed the intermediate shaft CV axle and there she is still intact there's that knuckle that I bust we did a bolt joint still intact There's that sway bar link that I re replaced, still intact. There's that knuckle that I bust. Still okay. So yeah, after uh, driving it for a day and a half this is the the result everything is good um, no noise no grinding um, turning left or right everything is working good so let's uh, check it out again in the next couple of weeks and I'll give you guys the update I am for sure that this is confirmed that it's a fix and uh, yeah, next time I'll see you again. All right guys, check this out. Awesome winter tire made by Michelin. Model is uh, XI Nord 4. This pre-studded already. Lots of hair on the threads. Lots of siphon for snow and, and water. It's new in the market, product code one nine five eight seven this is the best winter tire out there studded pre-studded love it <laughs>